favorite mod of all. What's up guys, Carter here from Part Time Overland and today I have a very quick video for you. Uh, as you can probably see, I'm looking a little funny here. I'm filming on my iPhone. Reason being, um, I'm working on the Toyota. This is actually a Toyota. There we go, 4Runner. My 4Runner is there. That's Roxy. And this is a Toyota I just picked up uh, a couple weeks back. Reason being, I'm swapping an e-locker and doing a bunch of stuff. I'll have a video on that. But um, I was just doing a little maintenance here, changing the oil and getting things rolling on this project. And uh, I have something that is very helpful um, that I did to Roxy over there. And I'm going to do to this one. So let's jump into it and I'll show you what that is. So here is the issue. Um, here is our throttle body and I don't even know the proper name for it, but uh, basically you have your throttle cable coming in here um, and this is, you know, as you push the gas pedal, this pulls like that and makes your car go. Okay, good. So I don't know if this is a forerunner thing just in general from these years or if the throttle cable wears out over time and stretches, but watch this. You see all that? That's just play. So only till I get about an inch and a half, two inches of travel, will I then start to actually move the throttle cable. And that is really annoying, so let's fix that. Of course, now we've jumped back out here, and as you can see, all that trouble is coming from this right here. What happens is, when you push the pedal, you have that much slack, which is mainly just a sort of feel thing. It's just kind of annoying to drive the car and have that much play. But the biggest difference that this really makes is um, if you drive a 4Runner and you have this issue, you probably know that when you push the pedal all the way, you're trying to get it, you know, let's say you're going up a hill or whatever, and it doesn't have all that power, you want it to jump into, you know, third gear, second gear, whatever it needs to do to push up that hill. And it just doesn't want to quite do that. You might have to push it all the way, all the way, really hard. This fixes that. Um, what that's doing is this is basically what we're going to do now is by fixing this, you're gonna gain that much travel back essentially in the cable um, and so not only are you getting a better feel out of the pedal you're also getting essentially extra power easier power so I'll shut up now and I'll show you how to do this all we need to do is we need to loosen up both of these and essentially we're just going to move this back uh, as far as it needs to in my case um, on Roxy I ended up moving it pretty much as far as I could I'm guessing it will be pretty much the same on this. I mean, you can see there's quite a lot of slack. You don't want to overdo it because you can potentially make your idle higher. There's not really too much consequence to that other than just burning more gas, but uh, you don't want to overdo it, but that's pretty much all we need to do. Here are my tools, two 14 millimeter wrenches. Here's a real 14 millimeter wrench, and I don't have a second one, so we're gonna use this. But um, that's all it takes. Just uh, put one wrench on one side, one on the other loosen that sucker up. Alright, so as you can see, I have cracked these loose, and I've just basically loosened this all the way out. Now, if we see here, I'll pull this, and as you can see, at the very end it starts pulling this. So we probably don't want to go all the way there. I'll probably just adjust it maybe to here or so. Um, just set that bolt, sorry, set that nut, and uh, then we'll tighten this one up from the other side, lock those back together, and that'll do the job. So as you can hopefully see here, we have done the job. We moved this quite a bit. This uh, first nut was way back here. I think they actually used some glue to sort of lock that in place, or maybe it just rusted on, I'm not really sure. Anyway, I ended up having to use some sort of channel lock, vice grip, uh, plier, whatever you want to call them things, to hold this guy while I loosen that up, because that was real stuck. So you might have to do the same, but as you can see, we have moved that. It's pretty much at its limit. Um, and you can see there's much less play. That's pretty much no play in the cable. And then if we go around here, so you can hopefully see, I mean, it moves a tiny bit, but basically that's, you know, instead of moving an inch and a half, two inches, it's like not even a quarter inch and it's just boom. Now you have your full range of motion and that's perfect. Well, there we go, guys. Super simple tip. Hopefully this video wasn't too long. Um, like I said, just was working on this, and I didn't want to do an official big video, but uh, I think it's 
worth putting out there because it's very helpful. And if you do this to your car, I think you'll see a huge difference and a very big improvement in driving. Just be careful the first time you drive. It's quite, quite a bit more sensitive than it was before. So anyway, hope that helped you. Uh, hope you guys are doing good on all your car projects. I'm going to keep working on this one. And uh, until next time, my name is Carter, part-time Overland. Peace out, guys. Oh, guys, in our head. Oh, guys, in our head. Oh,